YouTube, what's going on? Kyle from ePool Supply. Today we've got a special little treat where we're going to actually dive into Polaris's uh, VacSweep 280 pressure side pool cleaner and start doing some quick fixes. Stay tuned. Alright guys, and we're back. So today we've got Polaris's VacSweep 280 pressure side pool cleaner here for you guys. I'm actually reattaching a wheel here for you guys. I actually want to show you guys how to get to the actual bearings on each of the tires. So every one of the tires, um, all three of the large tires, as well as the idler tire here on this one side, all come with a set of bearings in there that actually help them rotate freely. Um, with this cleaner, you're typically only dealing with a front wheel drive. So you have this one single wheel, as well as this other front wheel that actually drive the cleaner. Um, once you guys actually get into the internals of the cleaner, you guys can see uh, where the main drive shaft is and how the cleaner operates. Uh, make sure you guys check out our other videos. We're going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, but for today, I'm going to take one of the tires off for you guys and show you guys the bearings that come included as well as making sure that you guys install them correctly so that they function properly for the cleaner. So we'll go ahead and take that one tire back off here for you guys. So if you guys simply remove the wheel screw and the washer and then you guys can pull the tires straight off and then as you guys can see they do have these notorious uh, zodiac bearings in here they are typically the same type of bearings across most of their cleaners so if you purchase one style whether it be for an mx8 or for any of the other back sweeps most likely it will work specifically for your other cleaners as well they tend to make the bearings be pretty universal across all of that so uh, as you guys can see, you can see it from this side, which is the front face of the tire, and then when you flip it over, we can actually see the driving uh, treads here, and you guys can see another bearing on this side. So typically, what I like to do is I'll kind of hold um, one bearing with my other finger and then kind of work the other one out. They are just pressure fit inside of the plastic hub itself here, so once you get one out, the other one kind of slides right out. And again, as you guys can see, they are the same notorious uh, bearings that they use for a lot of their cleaners. Each tire, like I said, does come with two. Aside from the idler, I believe the idler only has one just because it's a free spinning wheel there that doesn't actually require to have two of the bearings. So once you actually take them out, you're gonna go ahead and grab your new ones. If you're missing any of the actual balls inside, um, the, the bearings are not going to operate correctly and you're gonna get it caught up on things. So it is important that every couple seasons you guys go through and make sure your bearings are in good shape to make sure that the cleaner wheels operate, which helps alleviate all of the extra push that the cleaner has to do so that the drive shaft can, can work effectively and everything can go. So, as you guys can see here on the bearing, it's got a smooth side as well as a ridge side here with these two little notches. When you guys are installing your new bearings, you do always want to make sure that the smooth side goes out. So the, the two notches always go in. The tires themselves already have a divider, so you don't have to worry about pushing this bearing all the way through. So once you install the one on this side, just flip it back over. You grab the side with the notches as well, and you meet it in the middle there, and then you guys go ahead and you got all the bearings installed for each one of the wheels. You're gonna go ahead and repeat that process across all of them and make sure that they're all in good standing. So I really appreciate you guys watching. We wanted to show you guys how to get access to the bearing on this cleaner um, and show you guys a simple way to identify and install them. Uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We got a ton more videos coming your way. I'm Kyle with Pool Supply. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Subscribe today if you haven't subscribed. Check out the links below and we got a lot more content coming your way. Thank you.